Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So every so often a topic comes up uh, which I believe warrants less theatrics, less video editing and post-production. And this is one of those videos where I just had an authentic ramble and this is not an indication of where the channel is going. There's a lot of high production stuff in process. I know uh, people find that stuff easier to digest. But for those of you who like the authentic heart-to-hearts, this video is for you. Enjoy. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. It is, let me see what time it is right now. It is 2.40 a.m. And I'm working right now. I'm working to get orders out. I don't drop ship. Everything that you see on my website comes through my hands to you. But that's not what you came here for. Let's just get right into this. So happiness and money. First off, am I rich? Uh, the answer is, <laughs> by whose standards? You know, do I lead a middle class lifestyle? Yes, that's what I lead. And that's why I'm up at 2.40 in the morning working. Have I always been this way? No. I've been so, so poor in my life. You wouldn't even believe how how little I've had. I put out that recent video with the 2019 Tundra and a lot of people were very envious about that and i guess i expected that to be the case because i used to be there i used to be at this point where the only way i could justify my position financially in the world is if i uh, got jealous and envious and made up different lines of thinking for why people's motives who were above me in the socioeconomic ladder were wrong and mine were right. And I can tell you right now that if you're a person who wants to be more successful or more prosperous, that taking that envious mentality in life is not going to help you get there. But let's talk about happiness because I can tell you when I was broke as a joke, uh, having to steal, to eat, having to just not eat because there was no food. I mean, when I went through university, I was literally a starving student. I was on student loans, which is abysmal. I think it's worse than welfare, probably. Even, you know, in my childhood, I was very poor. I had to break the law many times in order to, to eat, just to eat. All money is is security. That's all it is. It's not happiness. And, you know, some people think that, you know, just because, you know, a person is successful or in the public eye or a celebrity that they're they're happier than everybody else and i can tell you right now that is 110 percent false it there's no truth to it whatsoever what they are is they're more secure and even that when we're talking about preparedness and shtf really the more you have uh, the more insecure you got to be the whole bigger they are the harder they fall you know the people who have the most have the most to lose so if you're you know one of these billionaires sitting up there in your your castle at night and people around you are getting too poor uh, what are you gonna do you know you, you're gonna feel start feeling very insecure you're gonna want to keep that privilege and I can tell you right now that's why there's talk of universal basic income and that's why it's being promoted by the billionaires but that's another story altogether. Uh, see, you gotta, it, this is chess. People just think, oh, $1,000 a month, yay. You know, they don't think about, well, why Why are the wealthiest people doing that? And I'm not, in, and that right there in itself could be construed as me taking a jab at the people who are above me in the socioeconomic ladder. And uh, maybe it is to an extent. Um, but at the same time, you gotta think, you can only make so much money before it's just like there's nothing there's nothing Bill Gates can really buy. I mean, what can he he could build maybe a moon base or something that would cost, you know, half half of what he has or, you know, he could build himself a spaceship or something like that. But money can only buy so much in terms of experience. And everybody's just chasing experience. They're just chasing a feeling, you know. So above and beyond the orgasmic sexual state uh, there really isn't much greater 
feeling than that. So God only knows what the elites partake in on that level. Let's not get too conspiratorial. Money can only do so much for a person. And it really, it, it's all it is, is security. Because I can tell you that when I was younger and I was broke and I was starving and, or I just, you know, had enough to get by, that's when I was happiest. And I was happiest. The high point of my life was when I lived in, uh, uh, this kind of commune of sorts with uh, fellow, you know, college students. And it was just fun. There was a sense of togetherness. There was a sense of community that I don't think I've ever felt before. And that was the peak happiness of my life. Now, you could say, oh, well, what about your kids and your dog? And of course, those things make me happy. But it's more of a, I don't know what the word is. I don't know. I can't really explain it. Maybe it's because I was free of responsibilities back then. But I can tell you that, you know, just because I have a nice truck doesn't mean that, you know, it's a party every weekend. Quite the opposite. 2.40 a.m. on a Sunday night. Actually, you know, I'm constantly listening to people around me in my neighborhood party. And, you know, I'll be going for a jog by the bar and everybody's blowing their money in the bar. I don't harp on them because that's their choice you can do that if you want you know and i'm sure they're having fun it is fun you know oh shit turn on the dehumidifier here we're not uh, in shtf yet we don't have to collect the water so you know uh, i'm not harping on them for that it, it is fun to do those things it is fun to to tie one on every once in a while and to let loose if you feel the need to leave comments like oh you don't need that because da, 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 just get a you know you're better off with some old beater and you know EMP and it's like am I gonna base this major life decision around whether or not the the off chance of an electromagnetic pulse happening which is like you know infinitesimally small event happening could happen you know but I mean if that happens so much else is happening to worry about that I mean, if there's an EMP, there's basically probably a WW3 scenario. Or, I mean, if we're talking solar flare, that's not even going to affect the small electronics. So, and even if it was an EMP, how close are you? I mean, I've done videos on this extensively, and I've, I think I've pointed out the reasons why, and Arthur T. Bradley will tell you the same thing, one of the foremost authorities on the topic, that only a small percentage of even modern cars are going to be affected by electromagnetic pulse. Most will stall out and then they'll restart again. So I'm not basing major life decisions around that, but some people, it's just another way that people rationalize, you know, their position. And, you know, there's the idea of, oh, well, you're just, you know, now you're going to be making car payments, you know, like who cares? You know, I don't have any other, you know, my credit score used to be, it was so bad that I couldn't get a phone plan. Like, uh, it was it was abysmal. It was terrible. I had no credit whatsoever. Now, I can probably say my credit score, I just checked it, it's over 850. So, I mean, it's in the top, like, I don't know, few percent of the population, which is great. You know, everybody wants to lend me money. And trust me, Besides my vehicle and my mortgage, I don't carry any debts with people. So, you know, and even my vehicle uh, loan is very small because I had a trade in and all the rest. And you don't need to know all this, but some people want to know that. Don't envy a person because of how much money they make or the material things they have. I know full well I could die tomorrow. Okay, so could you. And all of my toys... You know all of my preps and my gear and fancy electronics it could all be you know, could all just go back to the earth as it will someday all it is is security that's it that's all the paper chase is about uh, more security for some people it's about showing off and I mean if that's your thing fine that's your thing I mean there's a part of it I suppose which is wanting to prove to myself that I can do it and there's definitely that because when you come from a place of poverty, you always want to prove yourself. And I think that's the case with a lot of people who are all about the bling, you know. A lot of that, unfortunately, 
because it it it's destroyed so many celebrities like i look at floyd May mayweather and when i see that guy looking at his collection of million dollar watches on his like 50 million dollar yacht i see a very lonely man you know and i don't know him you know i'm sure he's got his own things going on but anybody who came from nothing is trying to prove a point to themselves and the rest of the world that they can do it i mean you guys see i wear the same shirts in every freaking video i wear the same pair of pants every day i'm not much of a showman except the truck the truck looks cool you gotta admit that above and beyond that i live in a very low-key house in a very low-key lower middle class neighborhood and i mean lower middle class it's there's a trailer park not too far from here and i mean within blocks i could throw a stone and probably hit it it just don't envy people man and here i am telling you what to do like it's going to make a difference it's probably just going to trigger people more i guess the thing i'm trying to get across in this video is you know happiness it doesn't matter how much money you make the only thing that's going to increase as you go up the ladder is your expectations that's what I've realized is that I am no happier and in many cases I'm less happier and when I say happier I mean at the end of the day if you sum up all the times I felt smile I smiled and felt content um, it's probably much less than when I was younger because of course again you have less responsibilities and now my mind is plagued with the 50 emails and the orders I have to send out but wanting to at the same time do a deep dive into all these topics for the channel and that's the real passion right there so I know a lot of people just try to break every prosperous successful person down and think that their motives stem from very nefarious uh, intent but I can tell you that if you're at a point where you, your money can't buy you anything like one of these billionaires you probably do want to do something for the world I mean you, you probably want to do something you know what I'm saying like yeah because money like I see you can only have so much security but some of these guys are spending millions of dollars on security alone so yeah more on that later because that's an important thing as it relates to preparedness normally when it comes to money and envy and jealousy uh, we're gonna project our own inadequacies onto people the whole you know if you're pointing at somebody there's three fingers pointing back at you right now that doesn't mean that if you have ill-gotten gains and you got money in a way which was immoral that you shouldn't be held accountable for that and i'm not saying that that doesn't exist obviously that exists a lot but you know for you to just assume that that's the default way that people got their success and it wasn't from doing something passionately I, I hope that gives you guys some more insight as to where I am at you know in terms of how much I value money and what money means to me all money is is security it's it's more preps and I can tell you with more money <laughs> as the saying goes yeah more problems more problems absolutely more problems and I'm sure you could pluck any one of these really wealthy people and who you think ha have it made and I they're real people that's a scary part you know I've started to meet some more prosperous people you start to realize wow you know they all have the same problems as you <laughs> you know all of these celebrities they all go to the bathroom the same amount of times a day you do and the loneliness that's the big thing a lot of people think oh you know you got all of these 250,000 subscribers you know how many friends I got I can count them on one hand and I won't even use all the fingers okay so be careful what you presume about people because if I if I'm like that I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of big name celebrities out there who are like that also who have a lot of acquaintances there was a song by perfect circle which talked all about that how as you get higher up and this might not seem like a big deal for some people who, who don't have to deal with it i'm not on that level obviously 
but I can understand. You don't know who your friends are. Even, you know, fellow celebrities, you don't know if, if they're your real friends because you don't know if they're just trying to use you to, to get ahead in whatever they're doing or, you know. So it's a lonely, it's a lonely place to be at the top. Like, I mean, I think that, you know, lots of these, like Bezos, that must be a lonely guy. You know, he must have points in the day where he's like, I'm the richest man in the world. You know, who can I relate to right now? Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, maybe, you know. <laughs> but, and I'm not saying, oh, poor Jeff Bezos, but just think about it. We're all human beings, okay? We're all going back to the earth someday. None of this stuff is going to be with us forever. What it's going to bring us is security. It's going to bring us a chance to go further, to keep going when times get hard and to stay alive as long as possible with the hopes that our family can survive that's what it's about and that's what everything every every day is survival whether people realize it or not if you're going to work to get a paycheck you're doing so to survive it's just that survival is now a far more uh, remote exercise what's the word I'm looking for I can't think because it's too late but I still got 10 orders that I gotta pack up from the weekend here so I'm gonna get to that anyways if you want to support the, the channel or the store um, use coupon code survival prepper for 10% off everything at the store exclusive deal for my youtube followers so let me know if you can relate to this i'm really interested in hearing stories about people who've had nothing and got something and maybe earned an insight from that one other thing i want to say about happiness is that happiness is in what built civilization blood and guts and grit built civilization so I'm not going to be somebody who masquerades like on social media, like, you know, I always got to be smiling and, you know, because for me, you're not representing, you're not ref reflecting what life really is about if you don't share your downs when 90% of the time in life, you know, you're not, you don't have a big smile plastered on your face. My goal is not to be happy all the time aside human beings you could argue that there's a lot of species they they have a state of contention but you know that they, they're not really in these excited states these euphoric states of happiness that we're seeking and perhaps that's a part of the reason why we're <laughs> ruling the roost on the planet right now is because that that yearning for those euphoric experiences are what compel us to keep building better and better things so we can have higher and higher peak experiences uh, that animals don't have like a cow you know that just chews its grass all day you know there really is no like yay moment you might see it in wolves or chimpanzees to an extent when they're being more playful and jolly but nothing to the extent that you could argue at least we can't observe it because we don't speak their language you know not, nothing that we have i don't aspire to be happy all the time and it's not because i'm a dark negative mean person i'm just a rational person and i think that if if, if you're chasing happiness and you know you're just trying to have a life of bliss that's fine but there's a lot of people in order for society to run <laughs> they have to have a very stressful day <laughs> so you know it's not in the cards for them to be frolicking freely living the carefree lazy fair life that uh, some people have chosen swinging from node to node on the grid in order to you know have a good time right it's good to have a good time it's good to have fun I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be a downer and say, don't have fun because, you know, civilization needs to blah, blah, blah. 
I'm just talking about me. I'm just talking about my personal experience. Like I said, one of the things that irritates me a lot is when people come up to you and and they want you to smile. You know, I, I really don't understand what that's... I think it's a control thing. You know, it's when somebody comes and you should smile more. It's like, you know, why do you care? You know, do you really care that I'm happy? I don't understand the motive for shit like that that people do and say... I think it's just one of those things where people got nothing better to do but to get in somebody else's business, you know. I'm not all about the happy whore mentality where I got to plaster a smile on my face all the time and be like, everything's great. I also don't believe in Mr. Serious Face. I laugh a lot, believe it or not. I watch a lot of comedy videos on YouTube to keep myself sane, thinking about all this prepping and crap hits the fan stuff. But I, I'm not looking over my shoulder 24-7 because I don't have to anymore, because I'm a prepper, you know, and I do this stuff 24-7. I mean, when the lights go out, I'm just like, okay, yay, I get to use my preps, <laughs> you know. So, anyways, guys, that's what I got. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper O. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.